Hello, this is Dr. James Holt from Washington State University. We're in the Engineering and Technology Management program here, and I have an engineering tidbit for management uh, that I'd like to share with you today. I call this my intuition trainer. You know, we can all think systems are simple, everything can be improved, and there's always a better way. Now, let's see if we can prove that. If we take a look at the, the book called The Choice by Ellie Goldratt, he suggests that the general meaning for life is to have a meaningful life. Meaningful life is an interesting one. If you want to have an easy life, that's different. You take a big hammer and you whack yourself on the head really hard and they'll bring the food to you in your bed. But if we want to have a meaningful life, there's certain conditions that we need to have. We need to overcome the obstacles which say, oh, life is so complex, I can't deal with it. And every, all these conflicts exist which prevent me from doing the things that I want to do. And it isn't my fault, it's somebody else who caused me to be this way. And I can't get any better. I know everything there is and there's no other way. These are obstacles which block us from having a meaningful life. But if we can overcome those obstacles just by admitting that every situation is simple, every conflict can be removed, there is always a win-win solution people are good, we can, we can succeed, and that every situation can be improved, we can overcome those obstacles. If we can think, and everybody does, in fact, it's sometimes hard because you go home and you say, I don't want to think anymore, turn on the television. Let somebody else think for me. So everybody thinks. So the basic elements of the theory of constraints say that we can, should be able to think clearly if we can remove these obstacles from our minds. And with a little help, we can soon have the stamina to overcome failures. We can find many opportunities where we can succeed. Even though we have some failures, we'll have a lot of successes. And we'll find that it's pretty easy to collaborate with people if we understand that people are good and that we can resolve these conflicts and that they're not, it's not their fault. When these things happen, and with some practice, we can have enough meaningful successes in our life to have a meaningful life. So, in order to base this, I want to demonstrate this on my intuition trainer. So, I built this a long time ago when I was um, asked to, to speak at Secretary's Week about operations research. And so, um, what I did is I put this stick on, uh, and tied this ball to it to try and understand how the system works. So what we see is this is a firm stick, it's holding here, everything's solid, and these strings are loose, uh, mostly, and it's tied to this ball. And the goal of the system is to try and lower the ball as far as you can. And the question is, hmm, can you think of any ways that we could lower the ball uh, and keep it still attached to the stick? Hmm. Hmm, what do you think we should do? Well, since you're not here and you can't tell me, you're saying, we'll just cut the string. So I can cut this one right here. Say, Whoops, that, that wasn't the one we wanted. Here, but, uh, which one? Did, oh, this one. Oh, you have to make sure you make the right guess because this is a management system. And for every cut, there's a cost. So it costs you $10,000 to make the cut. So the question is, should I cut the string for $10,000, will the ball go down? So the question is, hmm, if I cut this one, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's pretty obvious, so we're going to cut, cut here. Okay, ready? For $10,000, will it go down? Oh, yes. Big, no big deal. That was easy. Then we suddenly get here to say, wait a minute. Hmm. Now I have two constraints. How did that happen? Now I don't know which one to cut. I don't know which one to cut, and if I cut it, how, much, how far will it go down for my $10,000? I could waste my money. I know I'd waste my money over here and over here, but which one should I cut? I don't know. Which one should it be, A or B? A or B, $10,000, gosh, I just don't, oh, it makes me so nervous, I just don't know which one to do. I'm dragging on here because I know in your own mind you're saying, well, cut that one. And, you're, and I'm asking you, you, why? What do you mean you're cutting that one? Uh, 
you're cutting that one because you realized that this is a set of non-linear simultaneous equations. And you just had the equations in your mind, you know, it kind of looks like this. There's you got your equations in your mind, you says, oh, well, this, uh, this is obviously the one to cut. <laughs> and you're laughing, he says, gosh, I didn't even know there was non-linear equations to solve, but um, that's, and so you're saying, no, that's not how I decided. Well, how did you decide which one was the one to cut? I'm sure you know, but how did you decide? I think you knew when you were about two or three years old which one to cut. Because when you were little, your mom would push you in the swing, and she would push you like that. And there would be very little up and down motion. And so you knew that, the, that cutting that string over here and working like this is not going to hardly move anything at all. Because later on, when your little brother, your other older brother pushed you, he pushed you up like that, and whoo, whoo, and you knew you were going to go up and down a lot. And so cutting this string would cause that to go down a lot, right? You knew that from your own intuition. The problem is, let's see, where do I have my map of reality? Here, here it is. This is my, my view of what organizations really look like here. So here is the... Um, Here's what organizations really look like. So the question we ask ourselves is, hmm, I want to improve my organization and I'm not sure where to spend my $10,000. I've got to spend it because my boss says we got $10,000 to improve this outfit. Uh, which one should we cut? And um, it becomes a difficult maneuver because we're not really sure which one to cut. Sometimes we can't even see where we're supposed to be looking at in our organization. We might have a limited view, say, well, this is the areas that I can focus on. We don't have a vision of the whole company, but maybe this is the one to cut. Uh, should we cut? For $10,000, should I cut this, cut that red thing? You say, well, how do I know? What do you mean, how do you know? What? Will it make the ball go down? Ball, she says. Where's the ball? Oh, I'm sorry. From my side, it's very obvious. It, it's right there, see? So the ball is right there. Now, I ask you again, should I cut this white one? Should I cut this brown one? Do you think they're going to make the ball move? Hmm, this one's left over from a previous administration. I don't know why they had that policy, but it's still hanging around. What we see is that there's got to be a way to get that ball down. There's something that's blocking it, but I can't see it from here. What is it? And we have to do some investigation. We pay $500. <gasps> oh, look at that. There's something that's not holding it. Where is that coming from? And we're going to find out where we need to make the cut. But in normal organizations, they're very simple. All we need to find is the thing that's holding that ball up. And trying to spend $10,000 on everything else is pretty much a waste. When I showed this to Ellie Goldratt, he said, James, don't be cutting anything. Pick up the board and put it on the floor. And the ball went down. You know the answer, and you can find it. We give these interactive lectures for help, helping you to learn these things over the internet on through the theory of construction through the engineering and technology management courses. The course that teaches this particular topic is called Constraints Management, EM 526. Realize, systems are simple. Every conflict can be removed. There's always a win-win situation, and every situation can be substantially improved. You may have to pick up the board and put it on the floor, but in doing so, you will have the opportunity to have a meaningful life. I encourage you to keep thinking.